All right, here's some uh, help on your homework assignment for lesson six, seven. Uh, I've just chosen three problems uh, that hopefully will help you with this assignment. So uh, this is a an inequality, uh, exponential inequality. And uh, much like we did in class today when we were dealing with equations, we're going to turn this exponential inequality into a log inequality. So my first move is to do log on both sides. And the reason for this is so that I can apply log properties such as the power property. I can't utilize the power property unless I have logarithms involved. So now that I have done log on both sides, I can use the power property on both sides. So I'm going to bring down this exponent y minus 1 and make it so that it multiplies by log 3. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to bring down this y and use it to multiply times log 4. All right, so just like we talked about in class, my goal is to solve for y. And as it is now, I have y's on both sides of the inequality. So I'm going to perform the distributive property with log 3. Okay, I'm going to multiply log 3 times both of these terms. And then eventually I'm going to get my y terms on one side and non-y's will be on the opposite side. So if I distribute log 3, I get y log 3, y times log 3, minus 1 times log 3. And then over here, I'm just bringing this right side down. So however you want to do it, um, you just want to get your y terms on the same side. So uh, you could subtract y log 3 from both sides. Uh, you could add log 3 and subtract y log 4. really doesn't matter. Um, I'm, you don't have to show this step necessarily, but I just need for you to see that I need to see that you have put your y terms on the same side. All right, so I have just subtracted y log 4, and I have added log 3. And now that my y terms are on the same side, I can factor out the y. Okay. And since y is being multiplied here, I can undo multiplication by this parenthesis with division. So again, the goal is to get y by itself. So I'm going to be dividing both sides of this inequality by log 3 minus log 4. And I wanted to do it this way on purpose because um, I just want to give you a heads up about problems like this when inequalities are involved. Okay, so we're going to go to our calculator and we're going to do the right side of that inequality. So you're going to hit the log button and uh, 3, close the parentheses, and then divided by. Now we need one big set of parentheses for the whole denominator, just like I have here. And then, of course, your numbers individually will be inside parentheses. So it'll look something like that. So left parentheses, hit the log button, put 3 in parentheses, minus log again, and now you're going to put 4 in parentheses, and then close the denominator parentheses. All right, so you have two sets of parentheses for the numbers inside a big set of parentheses for the whole denominator. So what I want to point out, and I mentioned this at the end of class today, is that well, it goes back to this. If I just had the numbers 3 minus 4, that's a negative number. Well, log 3 minus log 4 is also a negative number. Okay. Now, what, what I've done here then is I have divided, even though you can't really see it as a negative, you have to pay attention that this really does represent a negative number that is being divided. And so that tells me that I have to reverse the inequality direction. 
Okay, so we've already keyed in the um, part in our calculator, uh, log three divided by that difference. And so our final answer comes out as greater than or equal to, and then uh, we're rounding this to the 10 thousandths place. So it's negative 3.8188. All right, so I just want to give you a heads up. The process of solving these exponential inequalities really is no different, but you just have to be aware of when you're dividing by what, what would be a negative number. So the same rule that applies for a small number being subtracted by a bigger, that's the same thing that happens when you do log of a small minus log of a bigger number. That's also going to represent a negative. And dividing by negative on both sides forces you to switch the direction of the inequality. Okay, so I just want to give you a heads up about inequality problems since our time ran kind of short today. And then uh, another thing that I wanted to touch base on um, in class, it's in your notes, but our time ran kind of short. Uh, these problems that you're going to see on, um, it's 33 to 38. And anytime you see these instructions that I have written, this is going to be an application of what we call the change of base formula. Very easy formula. It goes back to this. All right, so number 33, number 34, Notice this is log base 7, this is log base 5. The issue comes from our calculator. Uh, this is called the common log when 10 is the base. Your calculator key that has log on it is a base 10 logarithm. So log base 7 cannot be done like this. Log base 5 in your calculator the only thing that your calculator is programmed to do is base 10. Well, that's where this little formula really comes in handy. The change of base formula basically says this. Um, if I do the log of the top number, okay, so that's in common log terms, log base 10 of 18, and I'm dividing by the log of the bottom, the base, Okay, so what I've done here is I've changed the base from log 7 to log base 10 that my calculator can handle. All right, so this really is the change of base formula that you're going to do on problems 33 to 38 and any other problems that are worded like this in your instructions. Okay, so you literally just do log of the top number divided by log of the base. Okay, just like I've done here. And so let's go to our calculator, hit the log button, type in 18, close the parentheses, divided by log again, and type in seven, close the parentheses. And we're gonna round it just like the others, um, four decimal places, so 1.4854 rounded. All right, so this really is the final answer. I have expressed this log in terms of common logs. Okay, that's what this is talking about. This is an application of the change of base formula. And then it says approximate its value to the nearest 10,000. That's what this is talking about. So I only wrote the first sentence from your book, but this is really what you're gonna do to show your work. Show me the change of base. And then from there, you just go to your calculator and show me the decimal. Okay, so here's the next one. All right, same thing. This is log base 5. Calculator doesn't do log base 5. So let's turn this into a logarithm expression that your calculator can do, which is base 10. We're changing this. We're expressing it in terms of common logarithms. So this is known as the change of base formula. Log of the top number divided by log of the base, easy to remember. And now we're going to go to our calculator and actually key that in. So log 31, close parentheses, divided by log 5. And round it, and that's 2.1334. Oh, sorry. There's a 6 there, so it's 7. 2.1337. Okay, 
So show me both. Show me that you've uh, expressed it in terms of common logarithms, base 10, and then show me the approximation to the nearest 10,000. Right? And that's what you'll do on 35 through 38 and other problems that are worded that way. All right, I hope that helps. I uh, just wanted to fill in the gaps of the missing part of your notes. Uh, you're also obviously welcome to watch the video, the lesson, but I just thought I would provide this for you also just to help you with the assignment tonight. If you have any questions, uh, just email me or uh, come and see me in the morning.